या लाइव हेलो एंड अ वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू द वर्कशॉप सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय एमनेट एमनेट हैज पुट टुगेदर अ सीरीज ऑफ वर्कशॉप फॉर टीचर्स एंड एजुकेटर्स बाय लीडिंग एक्सपर्ट्स इन द फील्ड एज पार्ट ऑफ ईएलटी टू एक्सप्लोर सम ऑफ द कोर कॉम्पिटेंसीज यूजिंग इनोवेटिव टूल्स एंड टेक्निक्स माय वॉर्म वेलकम टू द स्पीकर मिस्टर कमाल जबर and all the educators have gathered from different parts of india and different corners of the world your participation ignites and motivates us to push for better planning and what binds us is the passion a common passion to be effective teachers educators and research scholars and more over it's great to have a fraternity of teachers in india and abroad who are always ready to collaborate and share the ideas experiences knowledge and best expertise to help build this community of practice i thank this speaker mr kamal jabra who at one call agreed for this workshop so without wasting much time let me begin the session sir is going to talk about sdg as educational objective sir has a long experience in educational field with the un and international ngos He has worked in many countries in Middle East. He is working now as inclusive education advisor for UNRWA. He has worked as a teacher trainer, educational project manager for many projects in Syria, Lebanon, and Jordan. He has lectured in many universities in Syria, Sweden, Japan, and Jordan. He has master. in management information system international diploma in education management from unesco specialized diploma in pedagogy and ba in library and information management he is a master student in education for sustainable development in the university of gothenburg sweden he is a national coordinator in etc uh, sweden and chairman of board of human for human organization as well He is from Palestine, but now he lives in Sweden. So we are very honored. I have seen a sir's um, CV, and it is so vast. Uh, sir is a very good public speaker. He is a facilitator. He has done life skill courses. Uh, he is a life skill trainer. Uh, he has worked as creative trainer. So uh, this is a few things that uh, I, I, a boon from the ocean that I am talking about. Uh, so uh, we, we, I'm so happy, so happy to uh, welcome sir today, and uh, uh, and we are very thankful that uh, you will be talking today about the sustainable development goals. Maybe teachers in India and abroad are wanting to know more about it because it has just, uh, it has, it uh, this idea has just cropped it in the curriculum. Curriculum, they are trying to imbibe these things. they are trying to take in these things so uh, yes sir to uh, we want to know more about sdg is as educational objectives from you so sir i request you to please take over uh, from here thank you very much for your uh, <laughs> great presentation about me this is introduction in fact uh, i am here uh, to to address all the colleague and friends in india english teacher in india related to the sdgs as a, an educational objectives as you know this uh, goals is uh, international goals not uh, for each uh, state or not for each uh, organization it's uh, responsibility of all to contribute effectively and uh, deeply to change our world and to change our behavior our mentality for the benefits of the man and uh, the earth so i'm happy to be with you in this uh, let's, say, let's say short workshop about sdg as an educational objectives uh, in the beginning uh, i will try to share this the screen with you and i hope all of you to be muted during the presentation i will uh, give you a a chance to talk to discuss and to participate effectively in this in the workshop as you know 
is it's not a lecturer. I'm not a lecturer. It's not a lecture about SDG. So I want you all, uh, would you please participate with us, contribute your experiences, their, uh, their fruitful exam example, a related example related to SDG, and uh, your uh, experiences in the, this field. Uh, okay, I will share uh, my uh, now, share my screen. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Th more and more, yes. SDGs as educational objectives. Uh, by the end of this uh, sessions, the participants, uh, all of the participants will be able to, to recognize the goals, targets, and the gators of SDGs. There are many goals, 17 goals, also targets and indicators to measure the targets we are addressing. And uh, to understand and define the basic concept of SDGs, we will talk about the sustainability and uh, development and so on. And there are, there are many other terms can be linked in the SDGs. The third, uh, let's say, uh, objective related to the decisions to recognize the three dimensions of SDG, so especially the sustainable development. And last, and this is the essential, the essence of this session, develop educational objective derived from SDG. I will not try to, to present my presentation. No, I will try to motivate you to, to, to discuss, to hear, to write, and to, to exchange uh, experience with me and we, with each other. In the beginning, I will try to know and define your experiences related to SDG. We have here uh, five questions. We want you to go, I will put this now, this link in the chat. I want you all to, to go to the, chat, to the chat, to this link and uh, and try to answer the questions related to the question involved, uh, put it in the, uh, this questionnaire or this, uh, this poll. Uh, yes. I sent this one. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Joseph has sent. Okay, thank you. I sent this one. Please go to the link I sent in the chat and try to answer these questions. I will give you three, four minutes. And after that, we can discuss.
Yes, I need more responses, please. We have 21 participants. We need you all to participate and answer the questions in the chat box. <clears throat> Only seven responses till now. Okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> can you see your responses? Can you see your responses here? Okay. From the, your responses, it seems that most of the view uh, <clears throat> know that uh, SDG means Sustainable Development Goals, but some of you says it is a self-development goal, but the, the definition is something more like just a sustainable goals. There is an answer related to the blueprint for to achieve better and more sustainable for future for all. Thank you for this response. Also, goals in an in integrated manner, taking all together. Yes, this is also good to, to say that. Uh, yes, this one about look at this. Can you see? Somebody answer me, please. Can you see the, see this? Look at these numbers, which shows the differences in answering and the percentage, what SDG stands for. Most of you say sustainable development goals, but there is a limited number say about 22.2 percent say self-development development goal which is not right now 20 percent 20 percent say self-development goal which is not 
right. Thank you all for your responses, and I will go back to the uh, the presentation. Yes, uh, I will begin with the saying for Irina Bokova. She is the Director General of UNESCO. She said a fundamental change is needed in, in the view we think about the educational role in global development because it has a catalytic impact on the well-being of individuals and the future for our planet. Look at well-being of the individuals and planet. We are talking about the man, the humanity, and the earth, our planet. Now, more than ever, education has a responsibility to be in gear with the 21st century challenges and inspirations and foster the right types of values and skills that will lead to sustainable and inclusive growth and peaceful living together. Some answer mentions mentioned something from this say, and I agree completely with you. This is the definition of sustainable development goal. And here also the resources. The sustainable development goals are a collection of 17 global goals designed to be a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. Thank you for the, the participants say this exactly the same, the same uh, uh, answer. SDG sent, set is in 2015 by United Nations General Assembly and intended to be achieved by the year 2030. And this is why sometimes we say it, Agenda 2030. When we hear SDG and Agenda 2030, it means the same. Agenda 2030 are part of unity resolution called the 2030 Agenda. The targets and indicators for SDGs are included in the United Nations resolution adopted by the General Assembly two years later on 6 July 2017. This SDG is a global plan, let's say, a global goals uh, that uh, motivate all the states in the United Nations organization to adapt and to work on to achieve these goals by 2030. Uh, of course, before that, it was the Millennium Goals. It is and it's ended in 2015. After that, we worked, they worked in the United Nations to, uh, to, uh, to develop these goals for all uh, countries, for all states. This definition is very important and to, to know exactly what do we mean by blueprint for all, sustainable future for all. When we say inclusive, it means all, means all. We will ne neglect anything, will ne not leave any body, any species, anything in the earth, should be included in the in our goals. Now, as I said, it's a 17 goals with targets and indicators. I want you to give you this link now in the chair chat. In the chair chat, we can find these goals in the Excel sheet. Okay. It's Excel sheet. Can you find all the goals, targets, and the indicators? Now, what do you mean by goal? What do you mean by targets? And what do you mean by indicator? I want you to discuss and to give you opinion. Would you please anyone to, to say anything just Raise your hand, raise your hand and talk please.
anyone to want to share us his opinion about what does, what does it mean by goals, target, and indicator? Anyone? There are seven, 17 goals. Yes. Like one is, uh, fourth number is quality edu education. This is the goals. Yeah. But we, when we and say that goals, goals what? has um, maybe eight to 12 targets. That means those, those things have to be achieved. Yes. Those targets have to be have to be achieved, uh, like climate action. So it ha they have to reach the, the children. That was one target. Yes, so this is a good example. Uh, more answers, please. More answers, please. And then uh, for water management in india we have started with uh, the jal uh, pariksha uh, has started with with water development plan, uh, plants um yes. they are trying to we uh, we what we clean the water so those plants are put built yes. and along with building of uh, more dams so rainwater harvesting and all those things and they are taking conferences after conferences just to tell what were their targets and how much they have achieved. That's great. That's great. In fact, yes, in India, in all countries in the world, each country establish a committee or let's say, uh, uh, let's say uh, a national plan to achieve these goals. Of course, these national plans derived from the goals in SDGs and each country have has its, its own contribution to achieve this. Uh, yes, we have 17 goals. They are broad and independent goals. Each one of them, it is stand alone, but in the in the same time, it's in the interdependent. It means we can't do this goal alone, we have to link it with other goals and to coordinate with other specialty in other in uh, uh, other specialty to co to coordinate and to support. Each of the SDGs has a list of target and we are going to talk to them. And how can we measure them? We measure them by indicators. We have 17 goals. We have 169 targets, and we have each target have from eight to 12 uh, indicators. Uh, the indicators, of course, as I said, each target have one to four indicators. What can we do with these indicators? We can measure the progress toward reaching, achieving the target. If we achieve the target, it means we achieve the goal, and so on. And we, if we participate in one goal, it means we can achieve many goals, not only the one goal. I will give you an example. If you talked about the education, if the education is qualified and inclusive, it means we can include more people in the society. We are here talking about the, the, the human well-being. We are talking about the the ending the hunger and ending the poverty and we can talk about the ending the uh, all uh, sorry we can motivate the gender enrollment and so on the total there are 231 indicator to measure progress in the efforts to make the sdgs successful here i will attract your attention that it is not necessary to achieve all goals in one basket or all targets in one basket. We, we can achieve them from time to time. And United Nations uh, expected to achieve this between 2000, 2020 and 2030. Of course, we began to get the result now. They began in 2015, but now they expect, expected to achieve this from now till 2030. 
Of course, nowadays, because of the COVID-19 spread it, and there is another, let's say, obstacles. Uh, there is something new, and there is more in focusing in precisions to achieve this by 2030. But if not, it's not a problem, but the, the countries, the government should do their best to achieve these uh, goals uh, from its perspective and from best uh, setting. Yes, these are the 17th development goals. As you see, they cover all the aspects in our life, in our uh, living related to the humanity and related to the earth, related to the, our relation with each other, our relation with the government, our relation with the, the environment, our relation with uh, education, health, everything about man, about and about the ear. The, the, the first one and the basic one is no poverty. Of course, I will not talk about the statistics related and the facts about the poverty or hunger or education because you can find them. So many websites, so many resources, we can catch them and see what is the problem we having in poverty or hunger or uh, health education and so on but after a long discussion in the in the united nation uh, assembly and other organization they decided to take these 70 sustainable goals as a goals for the next uh, let's say decade by 2030 these goals from 1 to 17 is not a separated it's not a separated goals they are interdependent, interdependent for each other. They are linked to each other. When I talk about the poverty, I can talk about education and versa versa. For example, the quality education is very important, not just to, to empower the students with is not important for giving the students knowledge and skills. No, it is for reducing the poverty, for ending the hungry, for enforcing the human health and well-being. It's related to the uh, ending the, uh, or to act positively for the climate problems, for the resources, the natural resources, how to manage, uh, how to deal with you, uh, the resources in the environment or for the human. It means this, uh, this goal is linked with all other links and vice versa. If you want to talk about the partnership, for example, I mean to partnership in all other goals. If I want to talk about the clean energy, it is an issue uh, it's important for everybody, for everyone in each country, when we I catch, I get clean energy and so on. It means they are just numbers, no, just numbers. They are interdependent. They are linked to each other. Each one can use other goals to build their <coughs> achievements, the achievements, and each one, each institutions, each uh, school, teachers or uh, government should consider these sustainable goals for achieving, uh, achieving better life for the humanity. Of course, this is uh, this photo, this diagram for the sustainable uh, represent many old, of course, all the 17 sustainable development goals. Each one has a color, if you notice, and a logo, color and logo, and it's distinguished. This is why you knew they talk in the website about, for example, zero hunger will find this color. When to talk about the health and well-being, we'll use the green one, this one, and so on. And if you see this picture, it means to, we, that we are talking about sustainable development goal. By the, the way, all the government 
have launched their own projects or programs related, not only uh, uh, national, but national and linked with the international goals, which is SDG. I will give you an example. And as teachers, how can we deal with this? How can we invest in the goals? So I will give you just one example. Upon this, we can talk more. The goal now, number one, in poverty, in all its forms everywhere. We need to know more about this. We need to analyze this goal. In the poverty, what does it mean, this one? in all its form, how many forms of poverty? We have to know them and how to know how to fight poverty, how to end the poverty. We need, we need to classify the types, all types and all forms of the, the poverty. And upon accordingly, we put plans uh, for, uh, in case of teachers, we put plans in the schools and for uh, students to know and to fight either from in the classroom activities or outside as a projects or as uh, everyday uh, duties or tasks. Everywhere, it means not a specific in a specific area or a specific country, it is for all. As I said in the beginning, SDG for all people and responsibility for all people not the responsibility of government or the organization or the United Nations. <coughs> no, it's for all. Yes. Here in the beginning, we have to understand and to analyze the goal. And we need to analyze the, also the target and we need to analyze the indicators. Here, goal number one has seven targets that specify the SDG. It means like a specific target. Goal is a broad goal. It's a vision, let's say. Targets is, an, uh, let's say, an objectives. It's target, but a specific objective. Each one of these targets has many indicators. In total here, in goal number one, we have 11 indicator, indicators to measure the progress in the SDG and to make these, is, these SDGs successful. It is the same for the all. We need this indicator. It's not for us as teacher. It's not us for, uh, as uh, let's say, educator. It's for the government to think about. It's for uh, the high ranked institutions to do this, for maybe NGOs can do this. <clears throat> but in general, as teachers, we contribute to achieve this target, to achieve this goal. And we'll talk about this in the second uh, uh, objective. Hi, here, this is example from our perspective as teachers. This, this objective, is it right? Students will be able to categorize types of animals. This is an objectives. We can do it every day. It's for science or for teacher, for English or for, uh, let's say, uh, geography. For example, students will be able to cut the grass types of animals. If we look about, if you look at the objective, this objective, and try to link it with these targets, uh, these goals, what? Uh, goals can be linked to this. <coughs> we can link this objective, I mean the, 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 daily, the daily objective with the big goals in mentality. When we talk about the human type of you, uh, about, sorry, about the animals, maybe it's related to the hunger. It's related to the poverty. It's related to the education or maybe clean energy, clean water. <coughs> it's not important, it's not essential to link each learning objective in all goals, but we can link some of them. I gave you this, that's just an example. 
But if you talk about more examples, we can talk, for example, we can link each learning objective in these goals because it's uh, speeded goals. We cover everything and our learning goals, specific, specific, uh, let's say, uh, targets <coughs> all aspects of our life. It means we can consider them as at the ultimate goal for our uh, work here. This is the learning objective, but we can link it with many goals and we can link it with many targets, either one goal or many goals or one target or many targets. Here, I didn't mention the indicators because it's not our responsibility to measure the overall achievements. It's the specialized institutions. It's the responsibility of government, for example. <clears throat> yes. Here, I will give you the, the educational perspective from my point of view. <clears throat> you know, this is also, also example. This is goal number one. In poverty, in all its forms, everywhere. If we look at this goal from educational perspective, it's like a national goal, right? It's a national goal. Each country, each government, uh, aim to end this poverty in the country. <coughs> we consider this this as a national goal. Yes, for the target. This is just one target. By 2030, eradicate extreme poverty for all people everywhere, currently measured as people living on less than 1.25 a day. This is just target, but how can think about achieving this target? <coughs> Look at the curriculum, the textbooks we are using, or the curriculum in general. We can consider this in which level, how can distribute achieving this target or the levels or the grades from grade one, two, three, we have to think about this. And as teacher, when I am teaching in grade six, for example, what part can be applied for a grade six to achieve this target? <coughs> And what subject? For example, ending poverty in its all forms everywhere, we can consider science. We can consider English. I mean, we can give example in English box about the poverty and ask them, high order thinking skills, how can eradicate or how can ending poverty? Of course, we empower them with language skills, but in the same time, we empower them in uh, to be part of the group who achieving the goal. In which themes? I, we can talk about the poverty when we are talking, for example, <coughs> about the ecosystem the importance of animals. What can we do with the meats of animals? Can we consider this as, as a part of ending the poverty, of ending the hunger? If yes, how? We have to think about like this. This, this matter is very important. And I give here one example related to the curriculum. <clears throat> but in fact, when you go to the daily activity of the teacher, we have to consider this in the lesson of plan, in the activity, in the evaluation, in the materials he or she use, in the, let's say, enriching material if you, if you have. We have to consider this. It's, I give you one example. I want you now, after a while, to give me more. We have to think comprehensively and to include all the elements, all the the entities in the, in the learning process and learning system, how to achieve these goals. 
I'm talking here about the curriculum, but as I said, we can talk about something else. When we talk about indicators, this is indicator, proportion of the population living below the international poverty line by six, age, employment status, and your given election, urban or rural. It's not your responsibility as a teacher, not as a, a school principal, but related to the national indicators and national statistics. There is special, special, uh, special uh, let's say, entity to do this. Here, I will uh, ask you this question now. Can we consider SDG as education and educational uh, objectives? From point of view, can we link our daily education objective in SDG? Consider the curriculum, consider the activity, tasks can be given to the students. Yes, what actions can you can contribute in achieving SDG? Give your example by linking the objective SDG. Here, this is the link. I will put it in the chat. And I want you to answer this question. I will give you three, four minutes to do this, please. Go ahead. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, I'm hearing. Your screen has gone blank. Yes, go ahead. So your screen has gone blank. A blank, yes. Yes. What? What's the problem? It's okay now? Yes, sir. Do you see the responses? Can you see the responses, please? So who? Can you see the responses of this answer, these questions? Who 
answer. No. Just I want to show you. Look at these responses. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes. What action you can you do? Can you do to contribute to achieve the SDG? This most of the answers focus on the teaching strategy, which is very, very, very great. Yes, I agree completely with you. Your strategy you are using to teach is the most important one. To do to do to achieve this but in the same time you have to prepare we have to prepare for this <clears throat> we have to consider them in the objectives i mean the learning daily objectives also to the activities either individual activities or their coach their activities or group activities <clears throat> and we have to consider them in the assessment and all of them we can consider them, all of them, <clears throat> not only in the teaching strategy. Okay. Uh, in general, I agree completely with you. For example, of course, this is exchanging in... <coughs> in the answers, yes, the percentage differs from time to time. When I ask about the the example by linking the objectives give me just in this is the the question was about the example they gave related to the sdg i get many responses for example uh, so students will be able blank. it's a strange okay 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 thank you uh okay for for a while yes i will stop sharing now I will try to share another one. It seems it's difficult for me. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Yes. I will show you your response responses about the uh, question number one. Can we consider SDG as educational? Most of you say yes. Great. Can we link our daily education objective in SDG? Yes, that's great. And this is the final for the actions. Can we do to, uh, for in the daily listener plan? Here, most of the if you focus on the teaching strategies. Good about 20, 25% about the daily objectives, yes? And the others have also other percentage. Uh, give your example by linking objectives. Here, questionnaire, maybe activity-based training, yes, yes. This is related to the strategy. Questionnaire also related maybe to assessment. A clean drinking water and water conservation. Yes. Listen to the plan connection to the SDG. Thank you. Do activities with the planning. Yes. Students, students will be able to understand about ecological sustainability. Okay. Many, many answers. Thank you for all. I meant I meant by this to give you from your curriculum if you're the subject you are teaching but it's okay thank you that's that's good i'll go back to the presentation again
Okay. Yes, we talked about this and the, the, the questionnaire or the question I ask you is related to the, this mentality to think educationally when we are uh, working in the daily base in the classroom or in the school, when we prepare the lesson plan, <clears throat> we to think, to think to link with the SDG. Yes. I think now we can come, this is just to come to the in conclusion. <clears throat> this is my point of view that the responsibility of achieving SDG is for all, on all. We have to have our own res responsibility, not teachers, not students, not only uh, masters or any staff, any employee in the education. All people have their own responsibility to achieve this. Each one of us from his perspective, from his, uh, let's say, angle. And any action of education process should link to SDG. Do you think so? Do you think so, please? Yes. Uh, tell me why. <laughs> I want to hear you. Yes. This is a question for discussion. Yes, please. Teachers. Yes, oh. please, teachers. Go ahead. I actually, like right now, we are, uh, we are talking about uh, various, now recently we had a project of a action, action climate action project. And in there, uh, we tried to bring about like that action we had taken just to make aware the students uh, about um, uh, the problem, uh, the problem of uh, fossil fuel and depletion and what is going to happen if we do not uh, take care right now so it is through the curriculum that uh, was framed and we worked on it and we started taking action by planting trees and you know making awareness among the parents to uh, to use a, a vehicle which does not emit any carbon so that was the action that was taken and i feel um, we are now on thinking, uh, uh, we are working on that part. Um, recently, I was working with one of the project where, uh, uh, since it was connected with water and uh, uh, water sustainability, so I worked on a project where students uh, were made aware of uh, the the water issues, and the the fresh water uh, depletion, the sources from fresh water is coming. And uh, how uh, how um, we should conserve water because there are many sources which is polluting uh, water. How uh, pollution should be stopped? How uh, water uh, conservation should be done? So we worked on uh, you know uh, digging one uh, uh, one underground tank uh, in the school. Uh, it was a small project only, but uh, we kept uh, this and we tried to collect the rainwater. So that was the action that was taken in the, at the school level that uh, that uh, that worked out. Yes, so this thank was, you. was one project that uh, I have done. Then uh, we have also worked with, uh, you know, um, keeping a fridge, like keeping a place where leftovers, leftovers were kept like students were supposed to keep the leftovers uh, and others could come and uh, take over leftover in the sense food uh, which is not spoiled which is not but they can, but it can sustain the hunger of uh, people uh, those who really want it so leftovers like from the birthday parties as one person has already mentioned so all these things um, uh, th these are small actions from our side as teachers uh, that can help uh, that is help uh, that is what the students are imitating and they are taking action. Maybe in the future, uh, they will carry forward this. Yes. That's, so that's now great. it is the time if we don't take action uh, to achieve at least 
some targets of of, uh, of those 17 goals um, like energy Achim. consumption energy itself uh, turning back to solar energy so many students have started making solar panels uh, uh, a homemade solar you know batteries so these are the actions, small actions that uh, uh, that will help, and that is through education we can bring in. Yes, yes, agree completely Thank with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I agree completely with you. Thank you for your uh, <coughs> your uh, saying, and I want to emphasize that the Indian teachers are very active uh, related to the SDGs, as I notice in the ATC. Uh, meetings and uh, training and all the time they participate and they give very important and very great ideas to applying and uh, achieving SDG. Thank by you, the, Thank you. In fact, in fact, um, by this question, not just to, to achieve everything in one basket, in one package. No, we can gradually achieve step by step, one by one. And uh, it's a long term process not just a matter of years uh, but we now we can establish and we we can put a base a, stri a strict base for the next generation we have to consider that each each of uh, <clears throat> our, uh, one of us have responsibility toward the economy toward the environment and toward the social cohesion in our in our uh, societies in our country. So we consider this SDG is the, is the string, strong and uh, great goals to achieve this. This is the triangle of the perspective of the, uh, the SDG and the sustainability. When we say sustainability, it means for the next generation, not for our self only, for our children, for our grandchildren and so on. Now question, uh, the, my question after completing the conclusion. Here, the third conclusion, cumulative small objective of part of the SDG. If we achieve very limited objective aim in, in our daily life, it be, can be considered as a part of the SDGs. My question now, I want you all to give your conclusion from this session, from knowing more about SDG. I will put this link in the chat and please write your conclusion. Give me at, at least one, one conclusion from each, okay? Where is chat? Yes, please. One sentence, one conclusion, please. Each one.
Yes, now look at your conclusions. We have eight responses till now, nine, but we have 36 participants. We need more. Okay, I will read some conclusion from your side. Uh, very nice session, thank you. SDGs are very helpful to reach up to last students, yes, to be inclusive for all and to, to consider all students, to consider all needs of students. Save our mother ear, self life, yes. Thank you, come together work together, go together. This is, yes, our life, our life to be together. So our learning strategy, we can achieve SDGs, yes? Throw our uh, learning strategy, our objectives, our, uh, our uh, activities we are doing. Yes, we can achieve SDGs, and all elements, all aspects of our teaching life. To gain SDG, we have to achieve all sustainable goals in education. Here, we have to consider education as the basic tool to achieve SDGs. Because when we, we teach students to, to consider SDG in their life, if we, can, if we can eradicate the hunger, eradicate the poverty, we can increase the center of uh, quality health and well-being, we can consider the clean water, everything. When we teach students to do, the, to do this, it means we can participate effectively in achieving, achieving the, the SDG. To gain SDG, we have to achieve a sustainable goal indication. I said that. It's a wonderful session, thank you, and I have learned a lot. I shall try something in my class, in my country. Yes, this is the point. I want you all, thank you. I want you all to start and to motivate more and more to do this, to consider all the objectives, learning objective as a part of the SDG goals. And we consider when we put the learning objective, we to think comprehensively and for the ultimate, as ultimate goal for SDGs. Uh, yes, we owe to the next generation, yes, uh, to achieve best by making the students realize the importance of SDGs. Yes, this is very important because also they are students, they, our tools and our vehicle to achieve this sustainable development goals. To achieve SDGs in each individual moral responsibility. Thank you for this, Butter. The moral responsibility is very important to be part of our heart and mind, to do this enthusiastically, not just as an order to do this. Yes, thank you. SDG should be an integral part of education. Thank you. This is why this is session as SDG is an educational approach. We have to consider this. To fulfill objective strategies is important, yes. Children and teachers should keep up the good work to doing good for to others, yes. No, to others and for the earth, yes. Need to do a lot of campanile, yes. Uh, helpful to save the planet, yes. SDG will help, will uh, helpful for achieving education goals. Thank you. Read together, this is yes, this is good. Maybe, uh, uh, Good activity, excellent session. Thank you overall informative decisions. We can do this, not just informative decision in the formative and informative and the final assessment. 
Thank you all for your responses. So participant, do you have any questions? Yeah, I will stop now sharing. I will go back to uh, the basic presentation, yes. Here I, I can say I reached the end of the sessions. I want to open the floor for you to ask questions. Yes, please. If anybody have has any hello, any sir. Hello. Ah, uh, yes, please go ahead. Morning, sir. Yes, go ahead. Sir, thank you very much for this uh, session, sir. My question is, what is the teacher's role uh, in SDGs? So, uh, please suggest some activities. What the role of the teacher to achieving SDGs? Yes, yes. Yes. In fact, we talked in all over the, the session today about this. I mean, it's some activities. Yes, yes. Uh, as I said, the responsibility of achieving SDGs for all, not for uh, individuals. It's for individuals, students, teachers, for the educator in general, for the government, the institutions, and the organization. I mean, in the school and the classroom, he or she could, should, not could, should consider the SDG when he putting the education, educational objectives. And when he try to develop any activity or task for the students, he has to consider this task or uh, activity as part of the SDG. I mean, we have educational objectives. It means this objective should be part of the SDG as a goal. The ultimate goal, the educational should be the SDG. I gave an example when we talked about, for example, about the ecosystem, about the environment resources. This is, this is also, we can consider this an educational, educational objective, but in the same time, we achieving SDG one of these, for example, for the clean water, for the clean oceans and seas, uh, related to the uh, consuming uh, the, the, the natural resources. This is an example. When we talk with students about the deserving the natural resources, we, say, we can say we are achieving one of the international goals, which is called SDG. Is okay? Thank you, sir. Yes. More, please. More question, please. More questions? Uh, yes, go ahead. Yes, I'm hearing. Aisha had one, one question. Yes, go ahead, please. Aisha, ma'am? I can hear you. Aisha? She's not there. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, more questions, please. Okay, if you don't have any questions, we come to the end now. Uh, if anybody, uh, Reno, please, you want to, to say anything before? Participants, do you have any questions? Yogi, sir, you don't have any questions? I haven't got any question. Even in the chat, there is no Jackpot, question. Sir. Ah, there is no questions. Hello, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. Hello, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I, I, I ah, you will come, you guess. 
नमस्ते कमाल सर या यू आर वेलकम यू गेस यू आर वेरी एक्टिव यस 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 एक्चुअली एक्चुअली आई वाज इन सम फैमिली फैमिली प्रोग्राम्स बट आई 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 वाज इन इन टच लेक्चर इट वाज सच अ नाइस लेक्चर नाइस मेंटरिंग बाय यू एंड आई आई हैव ऑलरेडी हियर्ड यू इन आवर ईटीसी ग्रुप्स लॉट्स ऑफ वेबिनार्स माय प्लेजर आई आई एम Yes, I am very small to ask you any question. It is it is not so to me because you are our our motivation. You are our inspiration. So I just say that you your lecture was very nice. Not lecture, but your mentoring was very nice. And we 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 would like always like to hear you in various webinars. And welcome to India. And it it was such a nice time with you. Thank you, our respected Kamal sir. Thank you. Thank you, my my dear Yogesh. In fact, your participation enriching our sessions it is not mine; it's yours. It's ours. We so uh, I'm uh, happy to be with us all the time because you are, as I said, you enriching uh, uh, my my task, my presentation. Thank you, Yogesh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, in the end, I'm to thank you all for your participation, and I hope you get benefits from this, uh, let's say, short work workshop for one hour. But uh, we can coordinate for the next with uh, uh, Reno in the future if you can do more and more yes, for sir. our colleague and our friends in India. Yes, yes, sir. I'll coordinate and get uh, the the series uh, out. Uh, the reason is uh, we are talking about sdgs and we are trying to bring sustainability and i'm very sure that the sustainability to bring this sustainability we have to take the help of the students because they are the future generation if we do not facilitate now then achieving these goals will be impossible and then uh, there will be in later in later period it will be very difficult for us to uh, get uh, what we want we uh, we have to save this planet uh, these sustainable goals are for our sustainability we are trying to sustain the planet for our sustainability and if we do not work now collaboratively it will be very difficult in the next coming uh, time uh, to sustain these things so this awareness uh, can be brought uh, brought about through the students via education uh, to everyone and collaboration this i came to know because i attended your workshops i came to know because i joined your facebook group and, and then the idea of sdgs came into my mind and then i started working means i started reading about it a lot and i thought it has to be bought in it has to be bought in india somewhere where everyone gets a chance to understand how oh, they can do it we know it but we are not doing it very constructively now uh, we will work uh, we'll join hands and work together to save our planet this is what i felt and therefore i approached you to bring this idea to the teachers like how they can bring through their curriculum and pass on to the students and uh, exactly how to take action that action word is very important it's not only talking it's not only you know uh, 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 teaching them it's not teaching it's the time to take action and that can only be done by teachers so um so i am very happy that you have put it as educational objectives and now you know your small uh, slide has uh, has brought in that idea how we can connect it connect it with the uh, with the curriculum with the textbook with with level how the child develops that way we can develop this book so yes we'll work out something with your help with 
we have so many people in our country uh, this uh, in our educational field they they can put in inputs and that will help us to develop a curriculum uh, that can yes. help future sustainability yes yes thank you sir thank you very much um, appreciated uh, and i agree completely with you we need actions not just uh, talks and uh, i am ready to help you all individually in in group in all cooperatively with all and if you want to mail me in this email or call uh, send me chatting me with uh, whatsapp and you can find me in the facebook and the linkedin and uh, if you can it's possible to share me in facebook group i am be ready to answer all questions and to support all contribution, contributions uh, to achieve the uh, SDGs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. I hope to collaborate, collaborate and I hope our teachers also will collaborate. Right? I hope yes, so. Teachers. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, yes, ma'am. So, yes. Yeah. We uh, really I, uh, want to collaborate and work out something for sustainability. Yes, That's very, very important. Uh, this was out of the box uh, topic but still i said no we have to know it once we initiate it people will come to know and maybe it will work out thank you so much sir uh, because you have enlightened us your insight was uh, very uh, very optimist and uh, very clear very very clear and specific uh, we have understood how to uh, how to bring about uh, things which we require for our students so as as a teacher from my own end i promise that i will work on this sdgs till whatever level i can thank yes. you sir and thank, thank you, you all the much. teachers for giving your precious time i know you were busy so i had to shift the timing uh, teachers from 4 to 6 so i was very busy because their timing the time zone differs thank okay, you sir thank Thank you. Thank you. And so bye -bye. I end this session. Bye. Bye. Bye.